Hey there, Lick and Riffers! Welcome back to yet another awesome guitar lesson here on Lick and Riff, in which I would like to divulge a little secret. Okay, um, I've been asked many, many times over the years uh, how I've developed my fingerstyle groove. Um, and that has a lot of answers, but I can actually pinpoint the first time that I had a groove breakthrough, so to speak. Um, and that's the secret part because it's a little bit unorthodox, so I never actually told this to anyone, but the, the, my personal groove breakthrough arrived on Blackbird. And I don't mean okay, the usual way to play Blackbird, I mean that one day, I don't even remember when it happened, um, it was years ago, I was playing Blackbird and then I just started going crazy over it for some reason. And I would like to show you, or at least try to replicate some of what I did back then, because every now and then I, I like to go back to it and try to find new ways to experiment on Blackbird. So, you know, Blackbird. Okay, and... Okay, so this is such a simple yet powerful composition, just bass and major third, um, with an open string in between. So I try to make it a little more groovy, not on purpose, it just happened, I just enjoyed playing it and then I just started getting into the zone. And I got sound like this. Um, yeah, I, I started hammering on the bass okay, and also the high note. Okay, started hammering on the bass note. And then I got something like this. Now let me see if I can replicate it. Not sure if it's gonna happen on the first try. Okay, something like this. Okay, and then... Okay, something like this. Hammering on the bass. So, already you can hammer on the two on the B minor there. Okay, and also... Uh, instead of just playing the second string, uh, the the open third string. Instead of playing, um, I played. Okay, I played the third string and then added the second string again. That I think that that was what changed the, the groove for me. Okay, and then I hammered on, and then and then I hammered on the bass. And then I slid, and I and I got a whole new groove out of it. Okay, and you can also open the second string. So that was my discovery then. Okay, okay, you can play strings three, two, and then the note. Okay. And then the same happens with the next chord. Okay? You can hammer on the chord. Okay, you don't have to land perfectly. Okay, it's just just a uh, um, just a, a practicing session. Okay, and I try to get that that get that groove, that new groove into each each chord, and whatever happens, happens. Okay. Okay. Also, you you can change the the rhythm there. Uh, okay, you can do it faster. Um, okay, and fill in the spaces differently. Okay, it's it's nice to take a song that you know and turn it into something completely different. See? Um, change the rhythm. It's the same lick, but in a different rhythm. Okay? It's the same pattern that I showed you. Okay? After each okay, hammer on on the bass note, I played strength three and two again. 
Um, so let's let's try to play it. I don't know what I did on A in A minor. Probably nothing, because it works just as well. You see, I changed the rhythm there as well. Um, and then I, I remember that I started moving the chords around out of sequence. See, just just to see what happens. J just you know, trying different patterns around, and because it's a song that's so easy to play just shape wise okay just okay just because it's it's so easy to play it's just two notes moving around the same strings just the same shape just moving around between minor and uh, minor minor and major you see that's that's the adhd talking minor um uh, that's a minor major this so um you uh um i, I don't remember what was the point uh what, what was my point uh, i just lost it but because it's so easy it's such a such an easy uh song finger wise um, it's really easy to create a new groove on top of it. So that's how I developed my groove. How That was my big groove breakthrough. Um, now, with my current knowledge, I know that I can change the bass notes to the fifth of the chord. So you can create a new sound. Okay, Instead of playing the fifth string, you can play the sixth. And then you have the fifth of the chord, so you can play around with that too. So instead of... Okay, you have, you can play it on the fifth string, uh, uh, on the sixth instead of the fifth. Let's see what we get here, if my fingers will allow me to do it. Okay, you can do it on both strings. Picking, but with a hammer on. Not sure how much I like this, but it's an idea. You can you can try and use it. You'll maybe you'll come up with something better than what I just came up with. Well, you definitely come up with something better because I don't like what I just played. Yeah, you can just move the chords around and play both bass notes. Okay, I like this better. So let's let's see how this works with groove, and then I'll let you go practice it. Okay, so. Maybe, maybe. I gotta listen to it first before making a decision. So thank you so much for watching. Go enjoy this. Uh, have fun and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Bye for now. Enjoy.